Hey everyone, it's Melody Yan here with Thunder, and today I'll be discussing programmatic creative technologies. When people usually think of the relationship of programmatic creative versus dynamic creative optimization, or DCO, a common misunderstanding is that DCO and programmatic creative are different technologies. One is actually a subset of the other. DCO falls under the programmatic creative umbrella, but it's not the only way to build creatives that activate the $6 billion of data contained in programmatic media. To illustrate this idea, let's start with the definition of programmatic creative. Programmatic creative refers to the set of advertising technologies that add speed, scale, and automation to the creative process. This covers both ad production and creative optimization. Programmatic media has unlocked tremendous potential in how we tell stories in paid media online. Programmatic creative enables data and creativity to come together to tell brand stories in a more effective way than ever before. The most often cited use of programmatic creative is to tailor ads to be more relevant to their audiences. Instead of showing one generalized creative to all, it is now possible to segment audiences into groups and show each group a custom creative. Programmatic creative also enables better message testing and optimization by both enabling the creation of multiple ads for the purpose of testing and potentially automating the test to optimize on its own. Programmatic creative also allows designers to quickly turn around a high volume of ads. This is possible largely through computer-enabled workflows, software automation, and big data integration. Programmatic creative encompasses technologies that are fully automated and are purpose-built for programmatic media, but where the operator has final control over each creative for optimization. As we explore the technologies that solve creative problems for programmatic media, the approaches that stand out fall into two main categories, DCO and Creative Management Platforms, or CMPs. We'll start with DCO. DCO is a highly automated and rules-driven approach to advertising that encompasses two technologies, dynamic creative and dynamic creative optimization. A good metaphor to call in mind is that DCO is like an ad factory. This is where dynamic creative comes in. DCO ad units use data feeds and a set of rules to generate hundreds or even thousands of unique creatives on the fly. The technology emerged before programmatic media took hold, originally with the purpose of dynamically retargeting shoppers with products they had viewed or abandoned in their shopping carts. DCO ads typically accept the following types of data. Time, device, weather, ad placement, location, and retargeting information. While this data is readily available, it also means that the manner in which the creative is made must be aligned with one of these inputs. The O in DCO is for optimization, and most DCO technologies offer automatic multivariate testing. This testing can relate to traits like button color, ad copy, images, and offers, although these elements must be able to replace each other without requiring any adjustment to the formatting of the ad. DCO is typically used for large direct response campaigns, where the amount of impressions that will be served justify the opportunity cost of testing so many variants, and where ROI can be clearly tracked all the way to the sale. Setting up DCO ad units can be a complex and technical process, so careful planning is required, as is a reasonable buffer of time. Vendors typically offer managed services to assist advertisers in getting their campaigns launched. DCO ad units can be configured to pull in data like product catalogs, special offers, and store information. This requires consistency and formatting of text and image assets for best results. Ad units for high impression campaigns can present multiple offers and optimize for the best combination over time. CMPs encompass the other main approach to programmatic creative. If DCO is like an ad factory, CMPs are more like design power tools, allowing designers to work on and customize large sets of ads at the same time, but also dive in to make small changes to each individual creative. CMPs are typically WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get. You can see exactly what each ad variation will look like while you're creating it. While CMPs let you build hundreds of unique ads at the same time, each creative in each size is accessible and editable. DCO ad variations, on the other hand, are automatically generated from a database using a template. 
To manipulate the ad, you have to manipulate the data, not the creative, and then use your imagination about how each variation will look. The creative process is disconnected in order to get more scale. By not requiring data feed integrations or pre-programmed logic to be baked into the ad units, CMPs enable creative for any purpose, regardless of what data or audiences are being used in the targeting. This also removes the need for heavy upfront planning or use of managed services because the toolset is closely aligned with existing design software. CMPs allow a high volume of ads to be created using a base layout. Then individual elements can be customized to suit the design as needed. This includes modifying traits like image position, text position, and text size. Entire objects can be added or removed from individual creatives as well. This example illustrates offers created from a template with a CMP. The creatives are timely, such as the holidays and the winter season, as well as tailored by a specific designer or product type. Slight changes to each variation provide the needed polish to complete the design. If you are evaluating programmatic creative technologies, the most important thing is to understand the problem you are trying to solve and how you want to work. We've touched on some of the comparison points between CMPs and DCO, so now we'll go into a little bit more detail. So what skills are required for programmatic creative? Programmatic creative technologies can require new combinations of disciplines to operate. To incorporate data into digital advertising requires adding a bit of technical complexity into a creative production workflow that hasn't changed fundamentally in many years. However, it's necessary to maintain a level of creativity and design polish in the process. Advertising, even when assisted by programmatic technologies, is a creative and visual trade after all. Likewise, just about all programmatic creative tech will benefit from a strong grasp of how the advertiser's target market can be segmented and what data is available for those segments. Typically, demand-side platforms, or DSPs, and data management platforms, or DMPs, will be used for programmatic targeting, although programmatic creative can be helpful with non-programmatic media as well. That combination of creative and audience skills is enough to make use of a creative management platform. If DCO is going to be used, additional technical and coding skills are required to link the data feeds into the ads and set up the logic that will drive the campaign. The nature of a technology tends to shape how we use it, and programmatic creative is no different. When using DCO, the amount of know-how and setup required makes it a better fit for organizations that carefully plan campaigns months in advance. These kinds of optimized creatives require the entire experiment to be set up beforehand. While it is theoretically possible to update an in-market DCO ad, because of the complexity of the technology, these updates tend to happen only when absolutely necessary. In contrast, the flexible nature of working with a CMP allows it to be used in a wide range of work styles, and the speed at which creatives are built makes it ideal for teams that want to adopt a more agile approach. Users are able to test concepts and learn about their audience more easily. Updating in-market ads without retrafficking is also very simple. Creative optimization with a CMP is a more human-driven process where creatives can bring their ideas to life, see how consumers interact with them in the marketplace, and then adapt without delay. To bring it all together, here are some of the more common considerations that advertisers will take into account when adopting programmatic creative. Creative management platforms can help you if you want to tailor your creatives based on any data, not just location, device, time, or weather. You're looking for a way to build ads in sets of multiple sizes. You would even enjoy being able to work on multiple of these sets at the same time. You want to localize your advertising and you want more customization than changing an address or city name. You're a publisher or media company who sells somewhat similar display campaigns to a high volume of local businesses and want a fast tool to create ads for them. DCO can help you if you're operating a direct response campaign for multiple products and with millions or billions of impressions. You have a well-organized data feed that you want to use to build ads with, such as for product remarketing. The data you want to use to drive your dynamic creatives is one of the following, location, device, time, or weather. And lastly, you plan your advertising months in advance. 
If you found this video useful, check out Thunder's free ebook, Essential Guide to Programmatic Creative Technologies, which includes example campaigns, workflow explanations, and FAQs. You can find the download link below in the description. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or want to learn more about Thunder, check out makethunder.com.